Hi guys and welcome to TechFurb. Today we're going to take a look at game streaming and specifically we're going to look at streaming Battlefield 1, GTA 5 and Dirt Rally. So let's get into it. Alright guys, how do you benchmark streaming? Well, there is two main components to it. Uh, the first one is the stream quality. So by that I mean, is there any stuttering in it? Is the picture quality relatively good? Uh, and overall, are the frame rates quite reasonable? Uh, so that's that's kind of the streaming side. And then you also want to benchmark the game side. So uh, basically for me, that was running uh, a measurement of the average, the 1% lows and the 0.1% lows while streaming. And then kind of combining those results and going, okay, this is the best platform for streaming. Now, what PC are we going to use for this? Uh, so we're going to use my Ryzen 7 build. And basically what we will do with this build is I did a render with GPU and I did a render with eight cores. Uh, but then I wanted to investigate further. So we're going to do it with six cores and four cores as well because I want to know how would a Ryzen 5 uh, CPU perform relative to a Ryzen 7. Now, I understand that this is a Ryzen 7, it's not a real Ryzen 5 chip, but you are able to simulate Ryzen 5 performance with a Ryzen 7 chip, and that's what I've done. Please, though, do take these results with a grain of salt because it's just my benchmarks and it's also not the real deal Ryzen 5 chip, so please bear that in mind. Having said that, uh, in the different core modes, I ensured that I was always running a 3.8 gigahertz overclock, and my RAM speed is 266 seven megahertz and we're running with an rx 480 now overall uh we did also do a benchmark of how the system runs when it's not streaming so i've got a baseline and then we're just going to compare that to the other streams so let's check out the benchmarks all right guys so just a quick overview of the settings i've just got them up on the screen there uh basically if you're not a twitch streamer which i can imagine most of you wouldn't be uh, essentially what's happening here is we've got it on a relatively taxing preset trying to encode at 1080p 60 frames per second. So uh, let's roll on to the actual benchmark footage. All right guys, so just on the benchmarks, uh, basically what's gonna happen is you've got the four cores on the top left, uh, six cores on the top right, the eight cores with CPU encoding on the bottom left, and the eight cores with GPU encoding on the bottom right. Uh, and just a quick recap of the specifications, we are running a Ryzen 7 1700, a ASUS Strix uh, RX 480 8 gig, and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 266 7 megahertz. Now, uh, without further ado, I'll let you just have a quick look at what's going on with these benchmarks here, and then we will go over the results in fraps. Alright, so basically the benchmark settings you can see there are 1080p, we ran it all on normal settings with X4 MSA and of course VSync is turned on, so 60 frames per second cap. And as you can see the average scores are pretty good, um, remembering that there's no maximum, so those 54s, 53s, 36s, they're all averages, they're not the maximum frame rates. Uh, and basically overall it ran pretty well on all systems in terms of the actual game itself. Uh, but as you saw in the benchmark footage, anything uh, six cores and up was the only real, I guess, viewable content if you were watching the stream live. So overall, as a package, the only one that really failed the test so far has been the four core. Um, so let's move on to the next game, which is going to be Dirt Rally. Alright guys, so Dirt Rally tells a similar story, but there was one outlier here, and that was again the 4-core. Now, the benchmarks don't reflect the quality of the stream, so I gather what happened with OBS is essentially the encoder got overloaded, it couldn't uh, deliver basically the stream as requested, 
So essentially all the resources went back to the CPU and it was able to smash its benchmark score. So uh, in reality, the only, only the 6 core and up again uh, was able to have a successful stream. And overall it was pretty good quality really. It only just dropped below the 60 FPS uh, V-Sync standard that we wanted to aim for. So overall pretty good results for Dirt Rally. Finally we have Battlefield 1 guys and again I'll just let this run for about 30 seconds or so and then we will go over the rap scores. Alright guys so finally Battlefield 1, uh, basically first time we saw any real scaling from the base score right down to the four cores and overall uh, I mean the stream quality was great on anything from six cores and up uh, four core again just not cutting the mustard uh, but overall the game was playable on every CPU uh, so yeah in general I think this is the only time we ever see any real justification for having eight cores um, but overall yeah I was pretty happy with how the game ran so let's move on to the conclusion Alright guys, so that was an interesting set of results. Uh, basically anything over 6 cores, there was really no benefit, so I kind of found that 6 cores was actually the sweet spot in this benchmark. Um, I know that the GPU encode turned out slightly better, but I must say that image quality will start to degrade over time with the GPU encode. Um, so overall, yeah, I mean, it's if you're running 4 cores or less, don't do CPU streaming, use your GPU. Uh, but I think if you've got a 6 core or an 8 core system, it's actually a valid option to use CPU streaming and overall if I was buying a streaming system I would probably buy a Ryzen 5 1600 uh, and the reason being it's really cheap uh, and it's just a really good all-round CPU so yeah at this point I'm kind of thinking well there's not a lot of benefit to my 1700 but I of course I don't just uh, stream and game I also do uh, productivity stuff I do video editing for YouTube and you know I like to play with virtual machines and all sorts of uh, IT professional related things so uh, there's more of the story for me having an 18, uh, a 1700 so overall thanks for watching guys I hope you like this video uh, I'm not sure if I'll do another streaming video because there's a lot of effort that goes into it but if you guys have anything you want me to um, look into further as a follow up to this video let me know and I'll look into it um, so overall, overall thanks for watching guys give this one a like if you liked it give it a dislike if you disliked it leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to add or any criticisms be it positive negative, whatever, that's fine. Uh, and thanks for watching guys. Make sure you get subscribed and I'll see you in the next video.